to Brad Shiny YouTube channel that came out very awkward. Whatever, uh, just work with me, people. Work with me. Um, this is the beginning of a new series, and I'm going to be deleting the series I was doing because it's just complete nonsense. Well, what I made. It's probably probably going to go into the category of just random videos there on my channel that you can check out. Um, but I want to start the video game. Uh, gaming Madness, and I've started the series already, so it's good. I don't really have to recreate a series, um, but Gaming Madness is going to happen. I'm going to remove the video game values. If you like those, awesome. If you want to know a value, you know, I'll, I'll bring it up if you, you know, look it up. It's not that hard to look up, really. Um, and the reason why I kind of wanted to get rid of video game value is I kept thinking, like, every single video... I would do the value and it seems like they're always around the same thing and I'm like well it's not really worth it like if I'm gonna do that I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do it on my reseller uh, videos so um, if you want to know how much something is then I guess kind of look out for maybe some maybe I'll do a video one day on just random games like the top games to look for or just give a random list of games one day and I'll, and I'll just write them down one day and um, make a separate video on about different games. Maybe I'll just make another video game value sometime down the road, but do like a volume one or a part one, part two, and just do that and give values of certain games. I'm thinking that's what I might do. But let's get on to what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about a video game that's awesome, one of the favorite games in my soul, and it is Turtles 2, the arcade game for the NES. Um, this is what I'm going to review for Gaming Madness. So, this game was probably the most, for me, besides Super Mario 2, which I'm going to do a review of the Mario Brothers all over again. So, I'm going to tell you right now. I'll, do, I'll make probably a whole video on Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, because um, I can do it. Um, but, the Turtles game Turtles 2 so briefly I'm gonna talk about the original Turtles game just for a second um, because it's not gonna take that long to review that game I never liked that game it was hard it was very hard and I'm the kind of gamer that I can't really handle those kind of games I can't really handle like games that are gonna be like you're gonna like want to throw the controller like through your brother's head or something like that you know I can't, I can't handle that, you know? I, I can't handle that kind of stress in the video game. So, I didn't like the original Turtles on NES. I think I played it a total of, like, two times. I, and I remember, I know I didn't rent it. I'm thinking I played it with a friend. He was playing, I think, when I showed up at his house. And he's like, I can go to the bathroom, play for me. I think I remember that happening. And when he came back, I'm like, dude, you already died, like, four times. Like... <laughs> I never played the game. I hated it. It was way too difficult. Um, and I remember him getting frustrated as well. So, Turtles 2 came out, and I really wanted the game. And I, I believe I told my parents I wanted it. I think that it had just come out before a Christmas um, when I was younger. I was probably 9 or 10, 11, somewhere around that. I can't remember exactly when it came out. Um, but Turtles 2, the arcade game. Uh, I, I believe my friend had it, and I was like, oh, that game is awesome. And it looked just like the one that was in the arcades, except there was there was some differences. Because they had, you know, they had to put it on the console. I love that game so much. Side-scrolling, you know, beat-em-up, turtle game. It was, oh, it was so awesome. I, I love battling Box, Baxter Stockman, Rocksteady. Um, Rocksteady in the first freaking level, man, that always ticked me off. Because... If you didn't get him the right way, you couldn't defeat him. And that really annoyed the crap out of me sometimes when I couldn't get past him. I would have trouble getting past him and die. I have to restart over. <laughs> it's so annoying. But I think the one that always got me was, I don't even remember what the dude's name was. He was in the snow level. And I would always get to him and I would run out of continues because that level was so freaking hard. Those levels were hard to get past. I, I, I thought the snow levels and that levels were pff, irritated the crap out of me. But that game was so good 
you know, in terms of replayability, like you go back now and play it, and it's still like you would think it just came out, like somebody just released it, in my opinion. And as a retro gamer, you know, it's probably one of the best games you can go back and play, um, in my eyes, and still get great, you know, re replayability out of it. Because uh, there's a lot of games, you know, that if you go back and play, you know, you're like, you know, yeah, it's a good game, but the graphics are kind of like, eh, like really NES, you know, you know, the, you know the games I'm talking about, they're really, really NES, um, and that's, this game's not really like that, it's kind of something that you would play at the arcade game, so it's kind of, it, it's kind of better in a way, um, but that's what I liked about it, is that, you know, you can jump around, move around really good, you can kick, you can punch, you can, or use your weapon and flip it, you know, and, um, you could hit things and knock them into the the uh, the enemies and stuff, and you had bosses at the end of you know I think like every three or four levels. I think it was three. I want to say three. Um, but it was interesting. I liked it. Um, the Mausers were very very annoying because <laughs> that one level with Baxter Stockman. I remember that because every time you'd wait by that dang hole for that Mauser to come out, and <laughs> as soon as it came out. You'd be like, mm. you try to get it, and almost every like every other one, like one would attach to your arm, and you're like, get the heck off of me! I remember yelling at, I remember yelling at the screen, you know. Um, and I think when you're younger, you remember, or now you can look back on the retro games and say, I remember when I was screaming at the TV in this game, um, trying to figure out, you know, how to get past it and stuff like that, um, and things like that. But that game was awesome. I remember opening it Christmas morning and being so excited when I got it. Uh oh. It was so awesome. Um, with my journal, that game, I mean, that game has to be a, a 5 out of 5 for me as a video game because it was awesome. It's probably one of my, it, it's definitely my top NES, top 5 NES games um, that I like. And my games are weird compared to other people's because I'll tell you, the games that are in my top 5, that's one of them. And I'm probably going to review all the top 5 games that I had first. So, in the Gaming Madness series, I did Gaming Madness with my son. We did some uh, Five Nights at Freddy reviews. I hope you guys have checked them out. Um, I believe there's one I haven't uploaded yet, so I have to get that uploaded because um, it's pretty cool. Um, the audio might be weird. I think I was like half in the picture on <laughs> one of the videos, but you know, we only shot it once. I didn't want to not put it up. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you didn't, if it was kind of weird that half my face was on the screen. I apologize. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comment down below what you think about Turtles 2, the arcade game for the NES. Let me know what you think about that game. I thought it was awesome. Um, and tell me what your top five video games are for the NES. I'm sure I'll be asking that too later on when I actually give you the official top five NES games after I review them all. Um, but this is one of my top games. I love this game. Like I said, I, I won this game for Christmas. I actually got it. And I think it was one of those Christmas gifts that you tell your parents, you're like, hey, I want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they pass it on like they're not even going to get it for you. And then I ended up getting it. And I was really, really excited. It was one of those presents. Um, you, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but that kind of presents um, that you didn't think you were going to get as a kid, but they surprised you and your parents actually got it for you. Um, this is one of those. Um, so definitely a game that I will always remember. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe down below, and subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about Mr. Brad Treasure, and hope you hope you enjoyed the Gaming Madness series, and hope you more to come of this series. Keep rocking. See you later.